Do you think this Walmart employee has the worst customer service ever? Or the customer is the one with the problem? Take a look. 127.13. Come on now. You can at least bag your own eggs. Unbelievable. After watching the clip, who do you think is in the wrong? Probably you might think the employee because she was having a nasty attitude at the time of the service or the customer who is clearly a wild caring antagonizing that employee. Let me know in the comment section. Please take your time to watch this clip of a Karen and a husband trying to block a property owner from his property. Take a look at this. You have 34? I got. You have all of them. If, if you have all of them, you can block the road off, all but if you don't. 35. Well, you can't block the road off then. Uh, they can access it from the down the bottom. They can access it through that old road. Well, you can't block the road off. I mean, don't tell me what I can and can't do. What, bro? What are you talking about, man? Well, I, I've I've already made a road in back here to block uh, number thirty-six. You come from the bottom of here. Well, this is not this is not a private road. Yes, it is. Well, this is called Buffalo Hunt Ridge Road, and it goes down here. So is that one over there. The one where you come in down at the gate, that's Buffalo Hunt Ridge. Well, There's this, a, there was a sign up there at the Buffalo Hunt Ridge. Well, I'm sorry, but that's, this, this is my five acres right here anyway, so. Well, I don't know exactly. I own 40, 32, which probably starts about right here. Mm-hmm. Well, this 32, is... 32, 33, and 40. Have you got it surveyed? This is 31 right here, which I own. And this is 41, which I own. And 36... Back gully and part of the way up the hill is what you own. Yeah. Yeah, so go straight back. The corner up there now is 200 feet down here, what 40 runs. I sold lot 36, which is six acres... 
and they have access and to go up this road. And 36 is on the other side of the road. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. They've got six acres. Counting the other side of the road. Yeah, there's two and a half acres over here, and the rest of it's over there. They can access it from down there. Well, they can also the legally, road. they'll be able to come over here. I mean, I don't no, own it not. anymore, but... No, they're not coming up this road. Really? No. Why is There's that? A Buffalo Hunt Ridge is right that that road that they redone. What if somebody buys this property and this property and then blocks off this road? I'm just curious. I mean, it don't make no sense that somebody would do that to you. Get to your lot. So well, can, can we build a gate right there across that road? And then you can access it by helicopter. I mean, just, yeah, just don't be old. Just put a gate up there and Why? see what That's happens. What you're being. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I you don't get real. Let's get a bull. This bull. Uh, I own the five acres right here. I don't know where you're from or what the deal is, but don't come and do it. Give me a break. I own the five acres right in front of you, so. I mean. You see the bells in this road. Go ahead, buddy. You find them. You hey, find them. Threats. Come on, let's go. You all, Sam. It'll be dark. You know, made the wrong person out. The property owner that has been restricted from accessing his property by Karen and her husband, she get a copy of the survey of his property. Show the copy to Karen and her husband. That should solve the problem, I think. Y'all won't believe what this Karen called a nine-year-old who was having fun at the park, chasing ducks. Take a look at this. He can chase them. He rode his bike into them. He chased he, them. He, they were trying to get away from him. He wouldn't ducks, let duck, them get away. Ducks do that all the time. They want to, they want to have fun with ducks. That's what happens. You, 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 you're doing way too much I about ducks. I know all about ducks. And I know all about geese. So, okay. And I know what happens to little boys who behave like that. What happens to him? What happens? I don't want to say. What happens? Tell me what happens. Tell me what happens to my son. What's going to happen to him? Because he behaved all right. Because he played with ducks. Do you want to know? Yeah. Okay. Well, you better look up the history of serial uh -huh. killers. Because they all started out. They started out torturing animals. That's, That's not torturing an animal. He's not torturing an animal. animal. No, no. You actually have more like like you're doing way too much. This is a nine year old boy. Talking about being a serial. No, he ain't acting wrong. Not from playing. He's having fun. You acting wrong. Look at you. You all out of breath. You out of breath. You 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 you, you being too nosy. No, no, come on, what are you talking about? Funny. It is funny because you think about it next time you scare an animal. You might be scaring your own dog. I'm an old lady. She trying to be over here yelling at him while I'm this far away. Yeah, like, you don't oh. approach any child without their parents. Excuse me. It's open. He was breaking the rules. And Show I me was where the rule <laughs> is posted. Well, you call, why don't you contact City Show Hall? Me where the rule you should contact him. You should call him on there. Call City Hall on there, please. Call him. There's nothing wrong with chasing ducks. Yeah, Siri, he wasn't. He was. I was watching the whole time. Yeah. Thank you. More than chasing. Move along, he was baby. Threatening. No, he wasn't. Oh, he was, too. I was over there. What did he, 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 he say to him? What did he threaten him? What did he say? He threatened him? What did he say? Go. What did he say? No wonder he does things like that. Yeah. Because you guys aren't teaching him the rules. What Where rules? The rule <laughs> that you don't you torture teach animals? No, Wow, it's so obvious that these Karens cannot mind their own business. Unbelievable. Karen behind the fence took down her neighbor's fence without authorization. She has also caused chaos in their neighborhood. Take a look at this.
Why well, you don't get a lawyer, get the papers and come and do it like a, like a right? A Not the way that you want. A I don't need a lawyer. You need a lawyer. You have to talk and come with the paper. Come with the survey. You have your survey? You have your survey? <laughs> you even have a survey you doing this stuff. You know, I, get, I, I don't have a get your How survey, you? get the points, and then you do it. Don't... How do you know? I don't have a survey. Okay, bring the survey and put, make the mark. We have the survey. Show me. Well, sh show, show me. me. Show me yours and I'll show you mine, and then you go on there. Why you why have to do this? You? Hey, you don't, you don't have to yell. B, hey, you don't have to yell. You don't have, you don't have to yell. No principle is you yelling. You yelling. Why I have to call police? I don't need it. I don't need to call the police, okay? I don't have to. Call I don't police. need it. I don't need it, okay? Call police, okay? What type of advice would you give the neighbor whose fence is been taken down by this crazy Karen? Let me know in the comment section. In this next clip, a husband catches his wife at a hotel with a pastor. Sit back, relax, and watch. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah, I'm on to you. Yeah, look, yeah, the, at the Holiday Inn Express, huh? Yeah, my wife, huh? Just my wife, huh? We get the Holiday Inn Express. What you doing here, huh? What are you doing? Charles. You, you, you mean the pastor, huh? You mean Pastor Mitchell? You can say it. Yeah, constantly. You come out stupid. You know, you're not playing. You're not stupid, girl. You've been messing with the pastor. You've been messing with the pastor. You're a big. You're a big. What is it? What's it like then, huh? What's it like then? I'll touch it. I'll let me see your phone. Let me see your phone. Let me see your phone. What's the code? What's the code? What's the passcode to get in? What's the passcode to get in? You don't have nothing to hide and you don't worry about it. That's not the way. Let me see what's going on. What? You see how you lied? You see how you lied? What is, what is this going on? What, what you got? Come on, get off. Right. Right. You got a, a, a naked picture over here? What the f you sending your naked picture for? What is you sending your naked picture for? What, what, is the, what does the message say? Uh, I no, I'll be there. Can you bring me? Yes, that's fine. I'll be there. That's from the day. I'm just talking about last night. How long has this been going on? How long has this been going on? Sorry, how long has Come on, no, we're going over there. I mean, you we're going like to, you know meeting in a minute. Come on, let's go. You were meeting him, come on. If you, if you want to save your marriage and you don't have nothing to prove, then come on, show me that you're not messing with him. Let's go. Let's go. Nigga, you can't have it. Come on. Can't believe you. Why is your recording? What is it? I, I'll be here. What is that? Okay, it's not that serious. You about to see. Yeah, you know, I'm going to see anything. Naked picture. Oh, Can't believe you broke, man. Come on. What, what, what room is it? Let me see. What room is it? 3 26? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Can't believe you, man. Yeah, we're doing it. You said you, you, you don't have nothing to prove? Come on. You don't have you nothing to hide? What the f going on? Can't believe you, out. Oh, people, the goddamn pastor. Come on. Come on, hit the button. You're going to hit it anyway if I want to hear it. Oh, Exposing. I'm showing everyone kind of, yeah, don't hide now, don't hide now, don't hide now, look at you, don't hide now, oh, oh, where's your wedding ring, huh? No, but where's your ring? Oh, now you have a ring, huh? You think that's going to make a difference? I you think, you, yeah, you think that's going to make a difference? He still knows you're married. Okay. He still knows you're married. So you he's, he's still f***ing with the wick on the rock to ring. Come on, man. I'm going to f***ing believe you. What a pastor, man. I can't believe you. Watch. 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 Where is it? Where is it? 320? Yo, come on, no, because I'm showing you. That's void.
You know it. Go ahead. Where is it? Where? What's it? Where's the three twenty? What is three twenty four? What is three twenty? You read the message. Three twenty six. Three twenty six. No. Go ahead. I'm right here. Stupid man. But I tell you, you have everything in the world and it up. Just stupid. You need to your dress. Yeah, yeah anytime. Hey, what's up? What's going on, Pastor? What's going on, Pastor Mitchell? You seem surprised. Huh? You expecting my wife? You expect, you expect me also, huh? You expect me also, huh? Hey, what's going on? You know what's going on. What the hell are you What's going on with you and my wife? What's going on with you and my wife? What, what the hell is going on with you and my wife? Oh, come on. Go ahead and cut that. Man, come on, Pastor. What's going on with you and my wife, man? Man, you've been around my family because I'm exposing you. you. You've been around my family. I've been around your lovely wife, man. Come on, man. You ain't got to mess with my wife, man. Come on, man. Put that camera in my face and give me my phone back. I'm not giving you nothing. 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 Come on, man. You Charles, what? I thought we were better than this, man. Come you on, man. Better. No, come you're on. not. You know I'm a man, man of God. God. You're not a man of God. Don't you? That's it. What? You're a man of God. Yes, Charles. There's nothing going oh, on with me. That's adultery, God. Pastor. Pastor, that's adultery. You mess around with a man or woman. You better hold on. You got me. I got the relationship. Who was the reason? I'm going to pull myself to help you guys. Pastor, what was the reason behind the naked pictures? I saw the pictures. Yeah, the naked pictures today, man. Come on. You see my wife? Pictures, man. Come on, man. Come on, Come on, on. I'm not exposing you. No, no, the rest of the congregation. Bishop Jones and the whole jurisdiction that we're doing. I'm exposing you. You're doing your job. I don't care. We're doing this. We don't have to do that. We're doing this. I don't want to do anything. You know, we're trying to mess up. I just want to get my phone and go. You know, you messed up my marriage. How about if I messed up your marriage? You know what? You know what? Let me call first lady. 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 Let I'm trying. He won't give me my phone back. You got alcohol. You got what the is going on, man? Give me my phone. You're not getting nothing. You're not getting nowhere. Give me my phone. What's your name on the phone? What do you have her name say? I'm not telling you. What do you have her name say? She's the first lady. Duh. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna see. All right. We call her. We call her right now. I can't believe you. I hope you get this. What you wanted, right? This you want. This is you wanted, right? Give me my phone. Hello. Back. Hello. Hey, I no, no, ma'am. Hey, for, yeah, this is uh, this is Charles. Do you know where your husband's at? Give me my phone. Charles, give me the move. Charles, give me my phone. Get off. Do you know where your husband's at? He's at the hotel right now. Him and my wife apparently have been messing around. I have been. I, I went through a phone last night. See, they've been messing give around for for at least two months. Give me my phone. I swear. I swear. Yes, ma'am. Give me my phone. He's at the hotel right at the, at the don't holiday. I'm recording it right now. First lady. Yes, ma'am. Hello. She hung. I hope that makes you happy. You're, yeah. You stupid. No, you stupid. stupid. No, you stupid. Yeah, That's all you want to do. What you want to do? What are you running off for what? Yeah, That's all you want to do. So, no, it's not just me and Tony. It's more than me and Tony. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. It's, it's him and Tony. They've been beating us for the last two months. No. I'm exposing them. You know we yeah. can't be convinced stuff at the whole time. I'm yes. exposing them. Yes. Yes, yeah, that's no. what he does. Sleep with married women. I, then he has a condom. Me, then you have a condom on the on the, on the jazz set. He has back. a condom. What were you doing with the condom? I'll call you back. A man of God. What were you doing with the condom, huh? Come on, man. Come on, what were you doing with the condom? Come on, man. 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 Stop! Stop! Get out! 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 Get for spiritual counseling let me know your thoughts in the comment section finally on this episode of karen's behaving badly a karen was spotted at ross department of store take a look at this just put on your anxiousness spirit oh oh anxiousness oh okay take it off take it off 
Yeah. Okay. Put on. Okay. Take it off. Okay. <laughs> A few moments later. Shut up. I said get out of my life. Shut up. I won't. I have lost rights. You broke the rights. First Amendment rights in the flesh and the spirit rights in the spirit. You will. I tell you, these Karens will never cease to amaze me. Unbelievable.